guys, it's Sophie from Games by Brains and welcome to today's video. Today's video will be a shoulder workout routine. Now, as a quick little side note, I don't just train shoulders as I train every body part at least two times a week. But since I really like the look of well-defined and round shoulders and training shoulders makes me feel very strong, I decided that this shoulder routine deserves a video of its own. Before moving on to the workout video, I just wanted to talk a bit about the weights that you should be using or the weights that I am using. If you are unfamiliar with the exercises, if you are a beginner to the gym or if you just haven't performed the specific exercises yet, then I would first recommend you to start with a very low weight. Focus on your form and if you are comfortable with how you execute the movement, if you feel like you have a proper form, check yourself in the mirror or you can also film yourself to see how you are performing the movement, then you can slowly increase the weight. Pick a weight that is challenging for you but also allows you to perform the certain amount of reps and the certain amount of set with a proper form and if you feel like you are able to do so then you can increase the weight further so you can use my weight as a reference but always decide for yourself which weights you should be using what is challenging for you but really allows you to keep perfect form because we don't want any injuries here so let's continue with the workout video the first exercise of this shoulder routine is the standing dumbbell press you want to have your hands shoulder width apart and make sure that your elbows do not flare out you want to hold the dumbbell very tight because I've noticed that this makes a really positive difference in terms of strength. And the same holds for keeping your core really tight during the exercise. Now you want to lower your hands until they are approximately chin height and then you want to press up. I really like throwing in dumbbell exercises as these makes your arms work independently which minimizes muscle imbalances and for the standing dumbbell press I do 3 sets of 8 to 10 reps. The next exercise is the dumbbell lateral raise so you want to make sure that your chest is up and I always tilt my hand slightly so that my pink is above my thumb. You really want to make sure that you squeeze your delts at the top of the movement. Now if you use a lot of momentum then your traps, your rear delts and your front delts they will all help you out so try not to swing. I am doing 3 sets of 12 reps. Exercise number 3 is the front dumbbell raise. Just grab some dumbbells, there's no need to go crazy heavy because your front delts are very small muscles and you already work them with the presses. So you want to use a weight that you can control, have some dumbbells to your side and then you twist your hands forward and just come up. Make sure that you squeeze at the top of the movement and you want to bring it slightly above parallel to the floor or to the ground to maximize the tension on your front delt. Again, I do three sets of 12 reps, but what I like to do with this exercise is to really squeeze out some final reps during the last set by bringing my arms up together. Exercise number four is the dumbbell rear delt fly. You want to keep your back parallel to the floor as this will make sure that you leave the other muscles out of the equation. Analyzing my form here, which is something that you should always do and keep doing, makes me realize that I should have brought my arms a bit more forward towards my head while lifting them up. Three sets of 12 reps and you are done. Just got back from the gym and I'm ready for my post-workout meal. And I wanted to show you one of my favorite post-workout meals, which is a protein shake. Besides the ingredients, you'll need a blender and a food scale. And the first ingredient that you need is 50 grams of frozen berries, 80 grams of frozen banana, 45 grams of oats, 30 grams of protein shake. I like using the vanilla one from Women's Best. I have a discount code for 10% off, which is called Gains by Brains. 100 milliliter of almond milk or soy milk. I like using almond milk and I'm using the unsweetened one. And as the final ingredient, I am adding 200 grams of 0% fat quark. And this is the strawberry flavor and it contains 20 grams of protein. So now you know all the ingredients, I'm going to weigh everything out. I'm going to put it in the blender and blend it until it is the desired consistency. If it is too thick, then I'll add just a bit more water. So now all the ingredients are in the blender and I'm going to blend it. So we'll see the end result in a second. It's a bit too thick, so I just grab a glass of water and then I'll just add some water until it is the right consistency. So here we have the finished product, the post-workout shake. 
I'll make sure to include the macros in the screen right now. And you can obviously play around with the ingredients a bit. You can add a bit more protein powder. You can add a bit more oats, for example. What I always do is I fill everything in my tracking app before making the meal, because then I have full control over the ingredients and over the macros, so that I know for sure that it will get me towards my goals. Now you can also do it the other way around, that you eat your foods first and then you fill it in your tracking apps. But I know for myself that I will end up with a lot of protein and fat left because I am a carb kind of person. So I'll make sure to fill everything in beforehand before I eat it so that I get an even distribution of my macros during the day so that I don't end up with just protein left, for example. You can just easy customize this shape. You can use other types of fruits, for example, or you can maybe even add some vegetables. It is all up to your own preference. This is just a shape that I really enjoy making and drinking. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a like if you liked it. And I would love for you to join the community by subscribing to my channel. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.